the thing that comes immediately to mind is the tour that the choir took to Russia. I certainly feel that the opportunity I've had to travel with the choir and take our message to other places has been just an unbelievable experience, which I've shared with many friends. The women who were there and who were, who were there worshiping, I remember when we began to sing, some of them just fell to the ground and wept. It was very hard to get through, and it was, it was emotional, and I felt like, wow, it was transformative. Transforming is perhaps the impact affecting the choir and the places they have been, especially their trip to South Africa. I think that the most exciting thing that we ever did was to go to South Africa. Um, the trip to South Africa was a phenomenal experience. With people, with the music, with the culture, the incredible history and being with a people that at one time had no voice in the world. The experience the choir gained went beyond the music and the beauty of the country when they visited Pam's crash. My heart is so sore because we have got so many things that we, pre we, pre we prepared. Pam Mafaxa decided she would start this crash in Community Center. She was given a very small stipend, and from that, she was able to open her crash. She started with eight kids. She's now seeing 250 kids. When I got to the States, I got a different uh, picture from what we have here. Uh, this lady here has 50 six children. She is the only teacher in this classroom. And these are children that are below the age of six. No place to go. They are without parents. Many of them are, are heads of households at that young age because of the death of, of one or both of the parents due to AIDS. I had brought with me brochures about the importance of teaching families to help prevent SIDS. And when I presented these brochures to the director, Pam, she looked me in the eye and said, oh, maybe that's what happened to my sister's baby last night that died. And I have been a SIDS nurse for years here, but for this woman to say such a poignant thing and have such grief in her heart and then to accept our church choir with 150 members coming and celebrating, that the spirituality was just absolutely remarkable. Inspired, 
The choir, along with Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church, made Pam's Crash one of their outreach projects. tours have been built around an outreach component. That, that's just been part of it. A whole choir trip is about mission and mission through music. The partnership that we've had with some of the groups that we visited in South Africa is still ongoing today. Pam's Crash isn't the only mission project in South Africa. There is also the Zawana Community Center and Church. He's a part of the Closa tribe, and so every time an X appears in their language, it's pronounced with a click. We believe as a congregation, we have to be involved wherever and whenever the dignity of the individual is assaulted. He was one of the first pastors in the black church to speak openly from the pulpit about what people needed to be aware of and to have working groups within his congregation to reach out to the HIV AIDS uh, people who were in his congregation and beyond in the township. Similar outreach programs have been established in other countries as well. When we went to Brazil, we took computers, school books, um, when we went to Russia, we took medicine for the Children's Hospital in Moscow. So the mission, as well as the singing, has a lot, a lot to do with it. During the 2011 choir trip covering six areas in the South, the choir organized a clothing drive to help the victims of the tornadoes in Tuscaloosa. Items were purchased and taken from suitcases of members. A detour was made to visit the site. <laughs> 